Oh, by the skin, by the skin of my chinny chin chin. Two minutes to eight. If I tell you that my alarm went off at seven and then, uh, then I went back to sleep and the alarm went off again and I couldn't remember what I set it for. I think it was 45. Shower, out, done. In around about 10 minutes. I've done it quicker. I think, I, I think, uh, I think I've done it in less than 10. But here I am, ready for moves. Morning, a deal. Um, what's to report, please? Are the comment, are the comments working today? It's a minute to go, but I'll extend it. I'll give you two minutes. Might have all to a year old. Don't know. Uh, DS is up. It's final, final hours here in sunny Scotland. Uh, and a week with DS, very rare actually. We spend this long together. Here she comes. Uh, I'll be back in December, but for now, it's final moves from Dawn's Lounge. Morning, Doris, Jillian with a J, morning. Wait for her to appear in the doorway. And uh, here she is, morning. Here she is. Uh, I think morning. she's been busy celebrating on account of my departure this morning. <laughs> mm. Here she comes. Oh no! Shh, stop! Shh, stop, oh, stop! 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 saying what you were saying. Here she is. How's your cold, cold this morning? How's my cold going? <laughs> my, my ears are a bit a bit blocked. I oh. can't hear what I'm saying. Not a bad thing. <laughs> Hopefully you can. And I'll come on. I might be an octave lower than usually. Usual, maybe not a whole octave. Half an octave. That exists. Morning, and a sip. It's a three, two, one. We're there already. Final moves from sunny Scotland this morning. Um, Bex, <clears throat> I've been a whole week without an LRT t-shirt, but you know it's me, I think. Uh, it's the rocking chair. It's bare feet. Um, not suggesting you should use a rocking chair for a movement snack, but you know, it can be done. If you, it's not about <clears throat> what's right and what's wrong. It's what you're, what you're skilled and ready to do. Uh, if you spend your life sat in a rocking chair, a mover snack in a rocking chair is is good o for you. If you've never sat in a rocking chair, maybe maybe go for a fixed chair for your first movement snack. Morning, me mum and a red rita. So I'm with rocking chair. Not suggesting you should be. Oh look, there's a beam of light coming through again. Uh, I'm in bare feet, not suggesting you should be. I'm going to be using the external support <coughs> if you should need. It's a little bit out of shot there. Uh, pickle chew, sit or stand, here we go. Hands on something reliable if you need it. Set up your leg ends in the best possible position for balance. That's with a gap between. Extra lift and extend. Oh, just get going, isn't it? Start steady, stay steady, have a breath. <coughs> So once the leg ends are moving, this could be in sit also, or maybe starting with um, with, uh, with your upper, upper limb image. Just find a pace that's steady for you. Uh, maintain, maybe put in a little bit of extra lift through spine. Shoulders easing back and down. And then you can start to add in, layer in all the other <coughs> parts. So you might end up with arms and legs together. <clears throat> you might end up with having one fingertip or hand on support as you switch between the two you might end up in taking a separate top end here are you making a cup of tea yeah oh come on i'll bring it through to you <laughs> oh she's made me a cup of tea I'll bring it through to you <laughs> and uh, on account of the fact that i didn't know i didn't get out of the shower till 10 to 8. Uh, there you go, steady as you go, maybe, 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 go for the diagonal. All those options apply in sit also. Well, you, could have, you could have a leisurely rock that does bring in, actually, some extra tension through the thigh <laughs> Have a hip walk forward, <coughs> heels back and down. Lift and lengthen, maybe start through the bottom end. Whether you're in sit or stand, if you're involved in the legs in the circus march, I'm just suggesting you involve the feet. 
because you're missing out. You're missing out on all the good stuff if you just go for a flat-footed march. Something's better than nothing. Yes, yes, yes. But, 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 what lies beneath is a whole load more. Extra, extra foot bends there. You've got extra calves, extra ankles, extra toes. So use the feet to work through the march. Then lift and lengthen, and then and then and then. <coughs> um, now, when I just said what lies beneath, it's tricky to thought in my brain. And it's actually about, I forget what they're called. What's the big two horse heads up in Scotland? I'll just leave that there for just now, otherwise I'm going to sit here forever thinking about that. Okay, that's your circulation boost. What have you done? You've lengthened through the spine, activated your supporting parts, shoulders, shoulder blades on the move, ankles, feet and toes, hips and knees, all in there, plus <coughs> some deeper breaths, because you've increased the blood flow, increased circulation, so you've got a light lifting heart rate as well. All that leaves you ready for move, starting with shoulders. A few lifts and downs, and then build that into the, the backward circles. So all the way up and all the way down. Take the time on the down. Then as and when you're ready, bring in the backward squeeze and the rolls. If you're in sit, you could kind of help that along by just easing the hands forward and back. I'm gonna, if I push up to stand, power up to stand, show you sideways. There, that's what your arms might be doing in stand. Just stay low. Uh-oh, gremlins, we're in trouble. Keep the arms long. Make it more about what's going on through the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Take key your time on that. Having, having moved the shoulders, the shoulder blades, and remember your supporting parts are part of that. So while something is moving, something is holding you upright and stabilising. So all of that plays a part. That sets you off or prepares you best for head turns or your neck mobility moves, starting with a steady, controlled turn and return. And I've put my fingertips here just to prompt that, uh-oh, gremlins. And then you can go without that. It might be that you're in a stand position and you want your fingertips on a fixed support in front of you to steady because the head movement may challenge the balance because <clears throat> your vestibular system and all your visual inputs are working harder. So if you do feel a wobble during this one, have some support or have a sit because the main aim, the main benefit we're aiming for is to improve, maintain full range of motion left to right. Slow, slow, slow. Slower, the better. So you can really feel the same level, the same position of the head as you take the turn. Have a breath. <coughs> Super G, what are you saying? Are you from Essex? <laughs> Darn Sarf. Should I do a movement snack? You know, from, from Essex, Darn Sarf. I don't know if I can. I'll do a pompy one though. Do a pompy one if you want me to. Yeah. I'm not more practice. <clears throat> um, wait, wait, wait. Now look what you've done. Head turns is what I was doing. A few left and rights. And the third movement at the top end is, is, is. Vying for position is this one. Chin stays level. Uh, be, be attentive here that you're not dropping the chin or lifting the tin. <laughs> chin, chin, tin, win, win, fin, <clears throat> sin. Ease it back. And, and all things that rhyme with rhyme within there. As if you're easing the head back, giving yourself a double chin, fin, tin, win, <clears throat> sin. Uh, I don't know. Heads, my head is still thinking about those two horses. Dawn. What's the two metal sculptures of horse heads? What are they called? The, the, the... What's the wall? The, the, the two big horse heads. The, um, horse, the, 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 the kelpies. The kelpies. <laughs> when I said about five minutes ago about what lies beneath, um, 
you see that the cow piece that's that's the name of the, the piece what lies beneath because underneath the horse heads is the actual figures of, of, of the horses that's your three to three move to the top end they hysterical aren't they second round circuit boots pick it up where we left off <coughs> resettle oh is a cup of tea thanks yes look at the strength in that that's what i call it cup of tea just strong <laughs> how do you feel folks uh steady rhythmical comfortable knees stay low extra ankle feet and toes all of that in sit as well you can take your circuit boots and sit or stand or a bit of both take a deep breath ready for trunk moves times three a bend a turn and an extend prompts are anchor feet anchor buttocks lift and lengthen bend and return if you feel a bit restricted by the chair maybe use it so maybe put your elbows on take the bend and return can you take a bend over the arm of the chair or 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 stay in front or not move it at all not use it at all so you might need to get your arms out the way to have a bend the side or your arms might be able to get involved with that when you come back to the center you may feel the need to have a pause all of the muscles that hold you upright are working here so uh, if you feel tired fatigued if you feel like a need a rest take it use it that's okay that's good because the aim is to rehearse practice movement through the best possible support structures so you use the rests and go again in standing position the same but a wider base gives you better balance maybe have some support to the front of you the bend is just happening around your middle bit, so there's no movement at all coming from the hips. Make sure you're not doing a, a hippy hippy shake. Extend before you bend. And down, down. Maybe have a switch off in between. <coughs> Crowbar in a, a bit of a, a bit of a fidget and then reset up for the trunk turn. If you're using support, have it to the front of you. Might be that it's a, a, a table or a wall turn and return i can't you might want to utilize the external support just to run your hands across that as you turn the aim being to give you extra confidence extra confidence uh, it's going to find you extra movement or willingness to move bigger leave the hips behind really aiming to make the most of the turn 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 song there somewhere in sit also sitting on your butt tocks sitting on that bit sitting on that anchor might make you feel really that you can get a little bit more so in the stand you're having to control your legs and your hips also but in sit you're sat on you're sat on them <laughs> you're sat on them so there's less to think about that's your turning goes without saying <clears throat> the bending and the turning are all in your day in sit stand and lying positions getting comfortable in chairs washing dressing any lifting push pull walking trunk movements are in everything your third movement of the third of the trunk trio is the <coughs> extend so you've done a bend you've done a turn and there's extend in stand as always decide if you want fingertip touch on support Keep the weight shifted towards the, the kind of middle and front of the foot. There's no backward sway. No, you can see here that there's a, a small bend in the knees. All of that is going to help stabilise and steady hips and legs to allow a more comfortable uh, back extension. Two seconds. <coughs> Ready? Final demo of back extensions, around about there, and back to base. Uh, avoid to lift the chin, folks, so uh, it's all about the spine movement, so no need to, to lift the chin. Imagine that that level between chin and chest is staying the same. Those are your three trunk moves. On 
going to be the size of this. It's a bucket. It's a bucket of tea. Where are we at? Third round of Circuit Boost. Third and final round of Circuit Boost. Doesn't do anything different to what you've done two times before. Pick it up 10, 20 seconds, <clears throat> pick up the same rhythm and pace. You might want to go slower and bigger on the top end and focus on extra back end movements. Here, when you, the, uh, the shoulder extends back, you'll really feel the benefit by maintaining the bent elbow. If the arm is long, <clears throat> you're not going to get back there as much as you can if it's there. And it's not gonna, certainly not going to be as comfortable. So tuck them in, keep them on the bend, and then you'll get more from it. Maybe change up the pace, put in a bit of quick feet as well, get ready for your balance reactions today. Because it's ankles, feet and toes, standing options, toes first, or in sit, have a scrunch and a lift. Can you get some individual movement from each of the toes? Have a squeeze, have a lift, press the big toe in the second toe into the floor. Then you can build that to really focus on foot bending, press through the ball of the feet as you do that. You're going to need that movement for um, coming down stairs and slopes and for pushing up stairs and slopes and strides, reaching to higher levels. All that foot bendy stuff is going to serve you well in all of your standing activities today. Toes and feet, if they're in your day, skill them up in sit, get them ready in sit. This removes the balance challenge and enables you to just focus on the movements. So that's the toes and the feet, and then the final move, uh, the movement snack at least, uh, the ankles. So come all the way back in the chair so your thighs are fully supported. Keep the foot low to the floor, and then you can get your ankles on the move. So you'll be feeling your shins and your calf muscles moving here. Keeping your shins um, moving, building stamina in those is key. They pick up your toes for walking. Clearing the floor, confident longer strides. Then in sit, you could finish that off with some foot placement practice. Bringing that all in together can bring some hip hinging in there as well. You could also bring in some coordination, opposite arm to leg. So some functional reaching could be in there. And your ankle moves in the stand with support if you need it is the heel and the toe. Just, just raising the knee enough to make space for the foot. Can you get toes up and toes down there? Both sides, of course, with support. And then practice longer strides, bringing in extra, it's kind of that, uh, the calf stretch range of motion around the hips, but you're, it's different. In the, in the stretch, we wanna keep the heel down. In stride practice, you wanna practice the power, the power forwards. Okay, that's it. I better get on to drink this huge cup of tea. Someone's birthday, what's going on? What's going on? Whose birthday is it? Someone tell me, quick, quick, quick. Oh, uh, uh, Red Vita, I think they think it's your birthday, but it's not. I'll have to go back round and have a, have a look at the comments. You're in April. You're in April like me. All right, that's it. I think Kaos is with you for the rest of the, the movement stack today. Um, Dawn and I got final things to do this morning. And then I'm heading uh, back down to Glasgow Airport. Um, so I'll see you around about tomorrow sometime. Bye for now.